Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. After a long time, I just start creating new videos for my channel. And I heard all of you because I have been receiving so many requests from all of you to create a complete tutorial regarding the Spectra 1 block theme. And here I'm going to release the Spectra 1 block theme today. So I'm so excited about this uh, new tutorial because I have shared a lot of things. I have converted a beautiful Figma design uh, to this Spectra block theme using Spectra and Gutenberg block. And you will be able to learn a lot of things in many standard way. And uh, previously I have published several tutorials, but I think this is one of the most useful tutorial that I'm going to publish right away. So after completing this project, you will have uh, some core knowledge about the block editor and also uh, how to use transparent header and also how to use a uh, sticky header, how to uh, activate uh, the scroll to top button while using the Spectra 1 theme and how to use the global color. Global color and global typography is very, very useful because let's say you have more than 300 pages or 30 pages um, or 15 pages, that's totally fine. But when you're using global color and typography, it will uh, save a lot of time to not customize the typography and color on individual pages. Let's say when you're using global color and typography, your client do not like the typography that you're using right now. You can simply navigate to the editor and just change the typography from editor panel and change the color from the editor panel. It will change everything inside your editor and whole website globally on every single pages. So it's really useful. And also uh, I'll be sharing with you the grid builder from spectra because when i published spectra complete tutorial previously uh, there wasn't grid builder they haven't introduced the grid builder at that moment but right now before creating this video they have introduced the grid builder which is another uh, new block uh, experience that you're gonna learn here and uh, besides that there are several complex layout that i'm gonna show you when uh, creating this project the layout will help you to uh, speed up the process uh, to boost your knowledge regarding the spectra and gutenberg as well and lastly there is a form here and uh, if you just uh, take a look at the form previously there was no column options inside the form i have received so many comments uh, that people are asking when uh, how i can add column in my form but here in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create multi-column how to create two column form when you're using a spectra because they do not have this form features default inside the editor you have to use uh, something some classes css classes and you're ready to go so without further any delay let's jump into my computer